The year is 1951, and Betty Nesmith Graham is struggling. As a single mother with a nine-year-old son, Betty works as a secretary at a Dallas bank to put food on the table. But typing is not her forte. Betty keeps making typos on her IBM electric typewriter, which puts her job at risk and her livelihood in jeopardy. While sitting at work one December day, Betty has an epiphany. She notices that a bank across the street has hired artists to paint holiday decorations on the windows, and these artists do something interesting. Whenever they mess up, they simply paint over their mistakes. Betty gets inspired. That night, after mixing white paint and water in her blender, she brings the fluid to work the next morning, along with a small paintbrush. The next time she makes a typo, she brushes a bit of the white liquid onto the paper, waits for it to dry, and then types over her mistake, with no one the wiser. Betty calls her invention Mistake Out. With the help of her son, Robert Michael, she makes bottles of the correction fluid from home and sells her creation to other secretaries. Her product is a hit. In 1958, she renames her invention to Liquid Paper and works like crazy to sell it. Two years later, her son turns 18 and enlists in the U.S. Air Force. Betty gives him a guitar as a Christmas present and he eventually finishes his service and moves to Los Angeles to try to become a singer-songwriter. In 1965, he gets cast as Mike on the TV show The Monkees, which goes on to air from 1966 to 1968. Besides acting, Michael writes songs for the show and performs them live with the other members of The Monkees. In 1979, Betty sells her company to Gillette Corporation, yes, the razor company, for almost $50 million, then passes away the next year. Michael would later describe the double whammy of his mother's death and the accompanying massive inheritance as a cross between a tsunami and a Category 5 hurricane. So where's Michael, the man who links Whiteout and the most famous manufactured Beatles copycat band today? Although Michael participates in occasional Monkees tours and appearances, he spends more time performing with his own bands, producing music, and writing novels. Oh, and if you watch Portlandia, keep your eyes peeled for him. He plays the mayor's father. Thanks for watching Sticky Figures. Stay tuned for more informative and fascinating facts about notable figures and events from history.